friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india just see this very rare type of cataract it is just the nucleus there is no epinucleus there is no cortex just the nucleus i have taken up this case for surgery i don't know whether there is any junular weakness or not but it is likely that this cataract is associated with junular weakness the sequence of events in this case is likely to be a hypermature morgagnian cataract and then the liquid part has been absorbed the patient probably had a mild form of faecolytic glaucoma and gradually the patient recovered on its own and the patient has come for surgery very late it could be because of the lockdown going to covid 19 by this time the incisions have been made and the anti capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye and now i am going to try capsulorexis i am going to take a 26 gauge bent disposable needle make a puncture on the anterior capsule raise a tag and as i try to make this first puncture i can appreciate some amount of junular weakness so i am going to do the rexis very gently no jerky pull very gently i'm going along the anticlockwise remaining away from the junular attachment on the anterior capsule and it is done the rexis is about 5 mm and now i'm doing a bit of hydro dissection just to see if the nucleus becomes free from the capsule or not yes it is free some visco that is 2% hpmc is injected and now i'm implanting a capsule attention ring i didn't take any chance in this case the capsule attention ring is going to the equator since there is no cortex in this case this sitier will not cause any hindrance in cortical aspiration because there is no cortex and now here the sitier goes in the bag and takes its shelter at the equator of the capsular bag and now this is going to be difficult this kind of cataract is very much leathery it has a leathery posterior plate we can make some cracks but it is not possible to make free fragments by chop all the fragments get attached to each other at the central posterior plate so my plan is now to manually separate the pieces I'm going to use two hooks and 
I'm going to try to separate the pieces but there is a stubborn band posteriorly which is not allowing the pieces to be free and now I have an idea I'm going to inject some visco push the posterior capsule behind and now I'm going to use this plant chopper which goes behind this plate and over this I'm using the Sinsuke hook and I'm just crushing the band and now these two pieces are almost free one fragment is totally free the other ho has a weak attachment see the band yes now the pieces are free I inject some more visco and go again with the FACO hand piece the FACO hand piece goes baby love and I start emulsifying the pieces the free fragments I find that the posterior capsule is not coming forward but still I am very much careful in this case and I have already decided to use IOL as scaffold for emulsification of the last nuclear piece so one nuclear piece has been emulsified ultrasonic energy being used is 75 percent flow rate is 40 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury now at this time I come out I find that it's not coming so I come out fill the capsule bag with visco and now I'm going to use two Sinsuke hooks to pull this on Sinsuke hook to bring the pieces at the central part and now I go again emulsify this piece the other piece is protecting the posterior capsule and now I come out inject visco fill up the capsular bag and the anti chamber with visco that is 2% SPMC and place the intraocular lens in the capsular bag yes both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag and now I use the FICO handpiece again to emulsify this last piece yes there is not much of visco this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma 
on either side of the stab wound and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber all the visco is removed the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will give you the idea of how to separate the nuclear pieces when there is a stubborn posterior plate